In the 1930s, when alpine skiing was becoming a growing interest, the United States Forest Service knew that it would need to open up some of its areas for the purpose. To that end, they hired world-renowned skier Alf Engen to hike the mountains near Salt Lake City and determine if downhill skiing would be viable in the Wasatch Mountains. After trips to Alta during the winter and the summer, he determined that it would be great, but the area needed more trees so that the mountains would hold the snow. So the Forest Service sought to acquire the land and found that the owners of the mountain were all too happy to deed about 1,800 acres over to the government in trade, as they saw the potential at the resort and the benefit for the area. Then, with the help of the Civilian Conservation Corps, a group of workers paid for by the federal government to reduce unemployment, they reforested much of the mountainside for the next few seasons. A group of Salt Lake City businessmen put the money together for the ski lift, and by 1938 when it opened, Alta was the first ski area in the country to be built in cooperation with the U.S. Forest Service. After almost 80 years, the ski resort is still owned by the Forest Service, but is operated by Alta Ski Lifts to ensure that the resort continues serving the recreation needs of Salt Lake City residents and the rest of the world besides.